Hello happy people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how to create a one page website using WordPress and Elementor all for free. At the moment I have a default installation of WordPress. When you come over here to plugins, you see I don't have any plugin. When you come to appearance and themes, I don't have any themes at the moment. Like I'm having actually the default theme uh, for 2020 that is actually activated once you install WordPress in 2020. To get started, let me first show you how my WordPress website looks like. Basically a default install of WordPress. Now when we get back over here, we are going to install a theme. I'm going to use a theme called Astra. Astra is one of the leading WordPress themes out there and it's free for the start. So I'm going to install over here by searching under themes, then I'll activate the theme. Now that means that my theme will be activated. When I come back here to our page URL or our main page, I'm simply going to reload. This is how our website looks like. What we're going to do at the moment is to create a menu and also the page elements. So we get back to our website in the dashboard and come to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. The plugin we're going to add is called Elementor, which is a page builder, and we're going to add the free version of Elementor. So I'll search over here Elementor. Once it shows up over here, I simply install. At the moment, it has over 4 million active installations. And then I'm going to simply activate. Now I have Elementor activated on my website. So I'm going to now head straight to our menu. So I'm going to come here to Appearance, Menus. And I'm going to create a menu for my website. I'm going to name this menu main menu. And then I'll create it. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the menu items. But in this case, it's going to be a different menu. We are going to use custom links. And for the custom links, what we're going to do is we're going to come here and grab our URL and the extension. Okay. And then you're going to paste the whole website URL that links to the home page. And then you're going to add one of the menu items that you will have in your navigation. In this case, I'll have home. And then I'm going to name this home as our link text. I add to the menu. I'm going to add another called services. So I'm going to add the hash. And then I add services. And then under here, I'm going to add services as the link text. I add to the menu. Same thing I'm going to do for the other. I'm going to add the about page, hash, about, and then under here, I'm going to add about. Then next, I'm going to add contact. Oh, I can even add testimonials. Testimonial with a hashtag. And then I'll copy this. And then I'll simply come down here and then I add testimonial. And then next, I'm going to add a contact page hash contact and then I'll come over here and add our contact link. So these are not pages, they're actually custom links. So this is going to be a section, another section, another section on our home page. What we do is now we're going to assign our menu as a primary menu and then we're going to save the menu. Next that we are going to do is we're going to come here to appearance, customize and we're going to come over here to the header and we're going to change the site identity by adding a logo to our header simply come over here simply pick up a logo if you don't know how to create a logo i'm going to leave a link right down in the description box below or in the card here on how you can create a free transparent logo for your wordpress website and i'll also show you how to use that logo on your wordpress website so please check it out so once you're done with your logo simply select it then I'm simply now going to crop this. So now we have our logo. I'll crop. Now this logo should appear in our header. I can now reduce the size of our logo. Something like that. 170 looks fine. And then, uh, one, we're going to disable our title or site title from appearing. So that we have something of that sort. And uh, there we go. So next thing we're going to do is simply come over here to the primary header. 
and we're going to choose the layout of our head of course we want our logo to stay this side and the menu or the other items to appear the other side so i'll simply just leave it here to be content width and then on the mobile menu layout i i'm simply going to leave this to be inline let me show you how that looks like when the logo is just like that but even we can reduce on the size of the logo on the mobile but that will go back to as you want it to appear like so next what i'm going to do let me head back to the desktop version and then i'm going to go back here and then i'll go to the primary menu and then for the primary menu i have to choose what menu that i'm going to use in this case we don't want to show a last item in the menu but if we wanted we would have added maybe like a button a search or whatever but we don't want to do that let me just try to add a search and i'll show you how this looks like you see how that looks like but we don't want to show that on our last item in the menu for now that's all next we can either try to enable a transparent header for our website let me show you when i enable transparent header of course it will show a transparent header but when you come over here to the background you have to make sure that you clear the background so they don't have a background for your transparent header now that means that when someone scrolls over like this they will have a transparent header enabled but in this case if you don't want to show a transparent header then you simply just disable that on your website which i'm basically going to do at the moment so i'll simply publish now when i head back over here then there is something called the global settings the typography the colors the headings and uh, the container you can all come back over here and customize so let's go to the main point on how we can enable our website to be actually a one pager so i'm going to exit the customizer i'm going to come to pages all pages and i'm going to create a new page but before let me show you the default pages we have uh, in our website these pages are installed immediately you install wordpress though i don't need them at the moment so i'll just leave them there i'm simply going to create a new page and i will name this page home page so home and then i'll publish next what i'm going to do is simply open this page with elementor and boom here we are what i'm going to do is now to create sections for our website the first section second section third section like we have the home section services about testimonials and contact okay so how do we do that we are simply going to add here a new section and then we can simply add everything from scratch but in this case i don't want to start from scratch i'm going to simply use some templates made by elementor i'm going to come over here come to the blocks and then i can search by category i can search for a services block contact block header and all that so let me just look up for an about block these are all free blocks over here you can just simply select one so once my template shows up over here I can also come back here to the template library and I can add another template and I come here to blocks I can go and pick up like uh, a testimonial okay testimonial template this is for pro users I'll get this over here so I have a testimonial widget then I'm also going to get a services widget and a contact widget so I'm simply going to add here over a new section come to templates and then i'll look up for a services template under services and then i have a services template over here old services block template i import it in my website i'll now add another section and then i'll import a contact page uh, or a contact block section so come over here look up for a contact boom it's over here and then i can simply import any of this over here i'll simply insert this boom and i'm good to go next i'm going to grab my navigator come over here to the navigator section and then i'm simply going to give these sections names so this is going to be contact now you have to pay attention to this copy that name that you've given in the navigator come over here to your section come to advanced and then come over here to the CSS ID and simply paste that name over there. Just leave it to be in small caps. This CSS ID name should be the same as the one you set over here in the menus. So when I come over here to my site, come to menus, 
then you come to the contact you should make sure that this name is the same as the name you added over here this should be the same as what you have named it over here please don't include the pound sign at this section next what we are going to do is select another section this is for the services so i'm simply going to rename this to services okay you can either just come back over here copy your services name you used here come back to your home page and then come to the CSS ID, come and paste your services uh, name. Next, we're going to add another or rename another section. This is actually supposed to be testimonials, but looks like it's not showing up. Let me delete this. And then I try to add another template for the testimonials. Come over here, select our testimonial category. And let's basically import this okay so i'm going to come back to this section i'm going to name this testimonials then come over here go to the whole section come to the css id paste my testimonials next i'm going to come over here to the last section which is this section i think this is the about section so i'm simply going to add the name about i simply just come back to my menu come to the about page and then select that about name that i used come to my home page First, rename this section in a navigator. Then I'm going to select the whole section here. Come to advanced, then add your CSS ID. And what we are going to do now is simply to reorganize this. Going to move this down. The contact should go last. Then testimonials. Then about coming first here. Then what I'm going to do now is simply to update. When I update, now I'm going to come here to my home page and then I'm going to reload. Before actually my homepage shows up over here, I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to go straight to reading settings. And then I'm going to select a static page and that page should be my homepage. And now this is why when I reloaded here the homepage, actually our content did show up on our website because we had not yet set up the reading settings so that the homepage is actually displaying a static page. Once that is done, then you're going to come over here to settings and then you actually have to save. When you save, then we head straight back to our home page and we are going to reload home page or index page, whatever you want to call it. And boom, here we go. We have our header and the navigation over here. We have our about section. We have our services section, customer reviews and the contact section. Now, this is how the one pager works like when I click on services, boom. Automatically, I'm taken to services. When I click on the about section, boom, I'm taken to the about. When I click on the contact section, boom, I'm taken straight to the contact section. You can do a little bit more other customizations for all these sections over here. For example, um, for the about section, you can come over here to style and you can add like a background overly. Let me see what I can add over here. Something of that sort. Um, hmm looks very dark or very light let me check over here on the other color oh, this looks nice so what you have to do now is uh, just repeat the same steps for the other sections that you created including the customer reviews and the testimonials and all that once you're done you simply hit update once you update then you come over here to your home page simply reload and boom see now we have our changes affected can simply navigate to any area that you want and that's all in a nutshell that's how you can actually create a one page website for free using actually elementor and the astra theme in case you have any questions or comments feel free to let me know down in the comment box below and uh, in case you're new to the channel please subscribe or in case you like the video, please give it a like. Have a good time and goodbye.